everyone. Good evening. Hello, Michelle. Thank you for hopping on. I appreciate it. Hi, Dominic in Tampa Bay. <laughs> Bet you don't have the snow we have. <laughs> Hello, Miss Val. It's so good to see you. Giving everybody just a minute to hop on. I know it takes a minute. Hello, Luke. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Hello, Lori and Nathan. Miss you guys back in Rapid. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for hopping on you guys tonight. I appreciate it. Ah, so many things to talk about tonight. Hello, Kim. Hello, Jared. Thank you for hopping on tonight, guys. Appreciate all of you hopping on to join me. It's a couple minutes after eight, so I will get rolling. I apologize, I am hopping on just a couple minutes late. Anyone that knows me knows that being on time is not my best suit. So uh, I'm always quick getting a quick bathroom drink and all that stuff, you know, not bathroom drink, that didn't sound good. Going to the bathroom and getting a drink. A bathroom drink, don't do that, right? Maybe my dog does a bathroom drink. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I thank you guys for hopping on with me this evening. Um, so many things to talk about tonight. Uh, as you all know, this day is a significant day. Um, I've been talking about it uh, for some time now that we would be honoring this day today. Um, as February 3rd marks the one year anniversary that uh, our, our girl, our little girl, all of us that we've all grown to love and embrace, Serenity Denard disappeared. Um, one year ago. Uh, so many things have happened in the last year. I think I know in my own life so many things have happened in the last year. Um, I'm sure many of you are looking back also saying, oh my goodness, I can't believe it's been a year and uh, all the things that have happened and changed in the last year. Um, as many of you know, one of the most significant changes I've had is I have become a Montana in. I think that's what they call themselves, a Mon Montana in. Uh, after living in South Dakota most of my life born and raised I have made the move to just outside of Red Lodge Montana so to those of you that are watching in Montana uh, I now am uh, one of your brethren after many years as a South Dakota girl but the commitment that I made to Serenity and her family um, the day that we met uh, almost a year ago now was that I would see this through no matter what uh, and little did I know that I would end up moving away and having some changes in my personal life um, that uh, I hadn't seen coming a year ago. But uh, my commitment to Serenity and her family and their story has not ever wavered and will not um, until we find Serenity. So um, to really, let's start at the very beginning. <laughs> the very beginning, right? Serenity was born Tuesday, May 12th, 2009 at 11.04 p.m. to Devin Green and Rihanna Root. Now, if you've followed me for some time, you know that uh, Rihanna is uh, or has been incarcerated. I did a, a interview with her. Um, I also have had Devin uh, on with me multiple times. Um, I, they might be tuning in tonight, but that's where the story all began. Um, October 2014, she was adopted by Darcy and Chad Denard. Um, now you know her as Darcy Gentry, um, as you know that they have split, and so uh, she is now married to Brian, and Chad is now married to Cassandra. Um, so that was the layout of the family. February 3rd, one year ago, on a, what was going to be a, be a blustery evening, at the age of 10 years old, Serenity, walked out of the gym door and was not seen again. Um, as you all know, there have been many searches, uh, lots of speculation as to where she is and what happened. And to this day, not a stitch of clothing or any other item has been found to indicate one way or the other. I would like to note that there has been a number of interviews that have been done lately with it being the one year anniversary and that um, her father's side of the family has spoken pretty extensively about the fact that they believe that she is deceased or that something has happened uh, to bring about her, her, uh, uh, her death or something to that extent. 
Um, and it was important to both Darcy and Brian Gentry that I make clear to you guys tonight um, that they believe that Serenity is still alive. And uh, the original plan for this evening was that uh, Darcy was going to be joining me with Brian. And uh, I think the reality of the situation set in for them. And they got a hold of me and said, we're too emotional, we're too upset, um, we can't do it. We're just not up to it. Um, I know that there has been, um, it's been a very difficult day for them. They did do a private balloon release this morning with messages to Ren. They call her Ren, R-E-N messages to Ren in those balloons. And they just said to me, we are not up to it emotionally today to talk. And uh, of course I wanna respect the family and uh, I understand that they're in a lot of pain and of course I would never wanna do anything to uh, force them to do anything they're uncomfortable with. But what they did say is that when they see things about Serenity being deceased or being gone, that it is hurtful and upset and upsets them as they are still looking and waiting and expecting the return of a live serenity. And so I think that's important uh, and has not been picked up very much by the media who has shown a pretty uh, imbalanced, in my opinion, uh, focus on interviews with um, the Denard side of the family. A lot of interviews with them, Darcy and Brian have been interviewed hardly at all by anyone, a little bit here and there. Um, so their side has not been out quite as much. Um, what I wanted to do tonight, since they decided they were not up to doing the interview, and of course I was disappointed, but again, I respect it, is I wanted to share some private memories that were passed along to me about Serenity that I think are really sweet and um, that we need to keep in our mind that this is a human being. This is, a hum this is not a picture, just a poster. Um, this is a person. Um, this is a little girl that had a life and uh, friends and family and fun things happening in her life um, before the tragic event of her disappearing one year ago today. And so I'm just gonna share some of those stories with you guys tonight. And I hope that these stories help you to understand a little bit more about our serenity. And I call her our serenity because I know for sure that there are so many of you that um, have sort of adopted her in your heart like I have. And uh, I often say our girl because she is our girl. So many of you have prayed for her for the last year and uh, have continued to hold hope like candles for her and pray for her. So let's talk about our girl tonight, Little Miss Serenity. You know, she often has been described free-spirited, <laughs> right? Independent, resourceful. I think they're all wonderful terms for the fact that sometimes she could be a little bit of a pain. <laughs> and that's great, right? Uh, I'm sure my parents would say the same thing about me as a little girl, that uh, sometimes we start out as hard-headed little things, right? Um, and it sounds like she was a girl that always had a strong opinion about things, had strong feelings about things, and if you told her no, she would probably figure out a way to make it a yes, because that's just how she was. Um, so that free spirit and independent nature, I think um, it just makes me smile when I think about serenity that way. And, um, you know, sounds like she was never one to just go with the flow. <laughs> So uh, what a sweet little, little, little spicy thing, right? Little spice, I love it. Uh, her babysitter, um, who has uh, spoken publicly one time, there was an interview that I did with her. If you haven't seen that, please take a peek at it. Talked about how much Serenity at daycare loved the babies. That she was a little maternal. That she actually found herself attracted to taking care of the little ones. She wanted to learn how to change diapers and hold the babies and just be close to them. And so um, while she was a little independent and free-spirited, she obviously also had a side that loved little babies and, and um, had that kind of soft nurturing side too. And so um, I pray that someday maybe Serenity will be a mama, right? Maybe she'll have some little ones of her own um, after this terrible situation uh, resolves itself as I hold out hope it does. Um, I would like, like now to share with you, um, the very first interview I ever did was a cousin, Kayla, and Miss Kayla lives down in Nebraska, and her mother, uh, Cheryl, 
sent me a very sweet message. Um, so she said that when Serenity was a little girl, um, she couldn't say Kayla and Cheryl. She would call them Taya and Cereal. <laughs> and she said that Serenity as a little girl loved to talk on the phone, but she didn't really know how. So the way that she described it to me was that, uh, this is Cheryl speaking, she said she would follow my auntie around the house and she would cry and ask for auntie's phone so that she could call Taya and Cereal. Love the nicknames. That's how she always said our names. She said that she would, if, if she didn't let her make the call, she would throw a fit until she let her get on the phone. But then when she would get on the phone, she wouldn't say anything. <laughs> And so here's the little, the little serenity. She'd get on the phone and then she would, they would laugh because now she finally gets the phone and she's on the phone, but then she doesn't know what to do when she gets on it. <laughs> and so what a sweet story. She said that this would happen when uh, Serenity was a little girl. This would happen once or twice a week. Um, thank you so much, Aunt Cheryl, um, for, sh uh, for sharing that story about Serenity. Um, and just giving us a little insight uh, about that. Um, next, I'm going to share with you guys, I think this is so adorable. So evidently, this is a memory that was um, shared by Darcy. Um, she said, uh, everything about uh, Wren was unique, everything. She said uh, she had a kitty named Stella and that she decided one day on her own that she was going to give Stella a haircut. Her, so she wanted to cut the cat's hair. Then she decided after doing that to give the cat herself a haircut. So she cut the cat's hair, then she cut the, her own hair. And she said to this day, the cat still has shorter hair in that spot where, where Serenity cut it. So evidently it looks, sounds like she was trying to give, give herself a matching haircut with the cat. She also said that Serenity never went outside to play with kids, that she didn't come home with new friends, that she would go with one kid and she would bring home three. And so Serenity was clearly a little girl that made friends easily, connected with other people, and that uh, that was a true gift that she had. Um, she loved the movie Frozen and she would sing it at the top of her lungs doing all of the hand motions. So I can just imagine how dramatic that was and that she loved when her hair was braided because then she thought she looked like Elsa, which I'm sure with her blonde hair, she absolutely did. So um, Serenity loved to cook and would sample the food while they were cooking. <laughs> Maybe sampling more than they made, it sounds like. She said, especially the rollout cookies we would roll the, roll the dough out directly on the bar counter and then she would cut out the cookies and there would be flour and frosting everywhere. So I share these memories tonight with you guys about Serenity because again, I want to remember the human side of this little girl. She's not just a poster. She's not just a name. She's a little girl that has a personality, a history, people that love her. And uh, I think all of these stories just give us a little insight as to who she is. So let I pray that all of you continue to watch for and look for Serenity. Um, I did have an update. Um, as you all know, I did speak on my last live about the video out of Washington State. Um, me sharing that information uh, received some criticism in the media. Um, uh, got a number of stories that it had not been shared. And so I would just like to say publicly that I do not share every piece of information that's given to me. I have to weed through massive amounts of messages and things that are sent to me to decide what information will and will not be shared. If I believe information is something that is unreliable or something that can damage the case in some way, I will not share it. You will notice that when I shared the information regarding Washington State, I didn't get very specific. I just said that this had occurred in Washington State. There was a reason for that. And so I was trying to respect some privacy within the investigation while also giving people the opportunity to look in a place where there had been a sighting. 
due to this, uh, what was perceived as a breach of information that I had shared, um, there has not been further information uh, received on this sighting. And so I am at this point holding tight, um, hoping for more information, um, but unfortunately, even many of the family members have said that they have not received any update on that uh, video and have not been given anything from uh, the Sheriff's Department, whether or not anything was done. And so at this point, that's all I can share. Uh, I'm hoping I'll have more information for you guys soon. But at this point, there's been kind of a lockdown, it sounds like, on information um, because there were some feathers that were ruffled by my last live. I don't know why I ruffle feathers sometimes. <laughs> Figure it out. Uh, so anyway, but I stand for truth. Uh, I pray that truth is revealed, uh, that uh, I will continue to seek it as my site is called, and uh, we'll continue to follow the story. I will also be posting an update soon on some of the other cases that I've been following and watching, um, and so look for another update here in the near future. Uh, February 3rd, 2019, a day that I will never forget, that N little Miss Serenity Denard walked away and was not seen again. Here we are one year later. Please continue to watch, be vigilant, pray, and hope in your heart, putting out all the good energy we can put out that our serenity is brought home safe um, and that there's a happy ending to the story. I thank all of you for watching me tonight and I will be back with you soon with some further updates. Have a good evening.